Hello and welcome back to the Achievement Planner and today I'm coming to you with Serious Sam 4 which was quite a game. It was just like old Serious Sam games. You go around and kill monsters. That's it. So yeah, but it was pretty cool especially since you could play it on the easiest difficulty. What? Alright, so 54 achievements for 1000 gamer score. 2 out of 10 difficulty. Especially, oh, I played on the easiest difficulty. Alright, so whatever. So if that's the case, it's definitely not hard. There's only one section that like took me a couple times. But... You know, completion time, 8 to 12 hours, um, and then play through 1 for all achievements. So, yeah, that's all you need to do for that. And, category number 1, story achievements, 17 achievements for 255 gamer score. There you go, a huge chunk of achievements just for story. Um, and they're going to be popping all throughout. Alright, so now, category 2, miscellaneous achievements, 20 achievements for 490 gamer score. So most of these for, are for killing enemies, um, and sometimes doing other things, but mostly that. All right, so number one, this seems safe, 20 gamer score, unlock a SAM, an S-A-M. I honestly forgot what they stand for, but it stands for something. And there are, I think there were only the, the 10 SAMs in the game. I don't think you can get any more than the, than, the, than, the, than the 10 you need. But once you unlock one of them, you'll be good. You'll crush the little thing, and then you can upgrade. And that's it, you'll get that achievement. All right, number two, spread the joy. 20 gamer score, kill three enemies with a double shotgun blast. So obviously, if you don't have a double shotgun, you can't do this. But once you get it, you just have to wait till there are a whole bunch of enemies. I have these, these one enemies in the orange outfits. There are so many in a row, you can just shoot them all. You'll get it, no problem. Say hello to my mini friend. And this is where you need to spend 1,000 minigun rounds while firing continuously. And the place to do this is in death from below. And what, there's a boss fight that you have this big flying thing and uh, just don't kill the boss just just keep shooting all the bullets in the minigun and don't hit the boss just shoot everything else see I don't I didn't even shoot anything I just shot around and once you get to a thousand bullets you get this you could also do this in Machina X Deus I'm pretty sure I said that right but yeah those, those are the two places uh, death from below is the one I got it on that's the level all right, next is, is number four, which is Mega Barf, 20 gamer score. Kill a Belcher using Belcher collateral barf damage. That is disgusting. So there are these huge things that explode and barf goes all over you. <laughs> or puke, whatever. And so the, one of them just has to kill another one with its own barf when it blows up. And actually on the easiest difficulty, I didn't even have to try to do anything. Now, if, on the harder difficulties, you could try to like kill it a little, use a little bit of its health. Or knock a little bit of its health down and then let it do it to another one. But I don't think you're going to have a problem with this one. Uh, just don't get too close or it'll blow up. Alright. Number five. Bloop bullseye. 20 gamer score. Shoot a one shot kill. Three wearables with a shotgun. And I don't think it has to be in a row. Um, I don't think I did it in a row. So yeah, you'll see them running at you. Just boom. Right in the head. And obviously on easiest difficulty, it's much easier. By the way, all of these can be done... In, on the easiest difficulty in this entire game, except this one, number six. No surrender. 20 gamer score. Kill five enemies in a row while your health is lower than 10 uh, HP. Now, the reason why you can't do this one on the easiest difficulty is... I think it's called Taurus, by the way. Um, is because your health keeps regenerating. So, I changed... You could change it right in the menu. Uh, not in the menu. Right in the pause menu. You could change to any difficulty you want. So while I was playing the game, I just changed to whatever, easy or whatever. And then uh, I, I was dying and dying and dying. And I was just trying to kill enemies in a row with it. And I got it, no problem. And then I went back to the easiest difficulty, of course. So yeah, that one you should get. You just have to switch to a higher difficulty for that. So that your health doesn't regenerate. Number seven, pow, pow. 20 gamer score, killing a Ludron, a Ludron Reptiloid using nothing but a pistol. I don't know what that, how to say that. So this one, I got in Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, the Apocalypse, and that's the level I got it in. Uh, after firsting my place, be after wow, after placing my first beacon. Holy moly, I can't read. Uh, so yeah, anyway, there's one. There are plenty throughout this game. You just have to kill it with a pistol. All right, number eight is Max Payne. Tw not like Max Payne, but 20 gamer score. Kill five enemies during a single time warp slowdown. Now to get the time warp grenades, you need to do the side objective, amateur archaeologist. And that is in the level Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. So once you get that, though, it's easy. You just slow them down, kill five people. Now, if you're trying to get a thousand on this, then you're going to have done that that um, side quest, no problem. So you'll get this. Number nine, Veni Vidi Vici, 
and this is where you kill a Witch Bride using C4. Now, there's a boss fight with the Witch Bride, the first one I found, and there's C4, and I kept trying to throw it on it, and I couldn't kill this thing. And towards the end, once I brought the Witch Bride's health down all the way, almost to the end, that's when it was coming closer to me. That's when I threw the C4 and killed it at that point. So try to bring its health down all the way. And worst case, you just make you can make manual saves wherever you want in this whole game. So you can make a save right before and then do it. And if you miss, you go back. All right, number 10, quadruple the gun, 20 gamer score. Kill 20 enemies while dual wielding double shotguns. And that's not complicated. You'll get an ability that you can unlock called dual wielding. And, uh, and that's it, yeah. Um, and then the next one is number 11. And that is heads up, 20 gamer score. Kill 100 enemies with a headshot. And if I didn't mention, this game is very disgusting. And uh, I'm not big into disgusting, so I was like, oh, all right, whatever. But to get a headshot, it needs to literally explode. And uh, yeah. Okay, uh, so yeah, but I thought I got 100 headshots easily throughout the game, and it turns out I hadn't. So the two places I did were those fellows with the orange suits. They're easy to get headshots on when they come at you. And also, the, the, the ones who are far away, you can use a sniper rifle and hit them. Those are the best to get headshots on, but the big ones really don't, even if you shoot in the head. It has to, like, explode. Ugh. All right, but you will get that probably. I didn't think I would, but 12. Oh, shut up. So 20 gamer score, destroy 10 propaganda droids. Uh, drones, not droids, drones. Did I see 10 throughout the whole game? I don't know if I saw 10 throughout the whole game, which is why I played it safe and I just shot one. And before I shot it, I made a save and I reloaded the save, I shot it. I reloaded the save, I shot it. Whatever. I wanted to get it done. So um, I feel like you maybe find 10 throughout the whole game. I'm sure you must, but... I didn't see every area, so I may have missed it. Other than that, yeah, that's all you got to do for that. The propaganda droids. They're basically like just talking to you. They're not the ones shooting at you. I thought they were the ones shooting at you at first. They're not. Number 13, Spinal Tap. 20 gamer score. Kill 11 different enemies using melee attacks. So you're not actually using the knife and swiping with the knife. There's an option to melee. For me, it was press the right bumper in. Uh, not bumper. What am I talking about? The right stick in. And that melee. It did a melee action. It wasn't actually me using the knife. So you have to use that melee action with the right stick 11 times with different enemies. And I got that through just playing. Now, with this one, melee a big enemy, tear and rip, number 14, for 50 gamer score, by the way. Um, this one, you had to unlock the big enemy melee ability, which is all the way at the bottom of the right, uh, you, when you look at the upgrade screen. Now, I had used all my upgrades to go to the left of the screen so that I could get the, the double dual wielding. Guess what? When you upgrade something with the with the SAMs, you could take the upgrade off of something and put it on something else. That is very, very good because you could, I just took everything off and I went down to the other side and, and unlocked large large enemy melee and I got it. Uh, and, and the fellow that I got was the big one, this, this big one here. I think I'm showing it maybe. And I, you have to kind of shoot him in the head with a shotgun and then you have to melee him after that. I don't know if I shot him twice in the head. I forgot exactly because that's the only one I couldn't get on video because it happened and I realized I wasn't recording. Whoops, but that's the enemy I got it with once I unlocked that. 15, all clear. 20 gamer score, kill 50 healthy clears with a direct double shotgun hit. I have no idea what healthy means, why it's called healthy. I don't know. But these clears are these bone bone animal creatures and you just have to, they, they're fast. They come right at you. You just have to shoot them in the head, one shot hit. Um, and then, yeah, you'll get that once you get it. I actually, I, that's another place I saved and kept reloading just to make sure I got it. I didn't need to, honestly. I did not need to. Number 16, Atomic Wedgie. 50 gamer score. Use the mini nuke to eliminate 100 enemies at once. And this one is where it was on the level, um, no, it's actually on the side objective locked in Hancock or Mortuary Tate Salutant. Oh my. And, yeah, so... In there, there was a, a spot in that in that side objective where you could just run around, run around, run around, run around. I mean, I'm showing it in the video right now. And you run around, run around. If you keep going all the way around, you keep going until I, I don't know when. Then finally, if you use the nuke, then it'll kill 100 of those enemies at one point. <laughs> all right. Now, there were still enemies after I used it. So there, there should be plenty of enemies at that point. You could probably get this at another point in the game too, but that's where I did it. All right. The mini, uh, the locked and handcocked or... Morituri te salutant. There you go. All right. So, um, and then after this, we have um, 
Wow, where is my... Yeah, enemy of my enemy. 20 gamer score. Make 20 enemies kill each other using psychotropic grenades. So you get these grenades, you throw them, they'll start killing each other. That That's easy. Number 18, Harvest Festival. 20 gamer score. Harvest 100 enemies with a combine harvester. When you're driving this terribly disgusting vehicle and you're running over creatures, um, just make sure you run over 100 of them. You'll get it if you're hard doing that. You have to go in this thing, so... Number 19, Dismemberment, 20 gamer score. Dismember 50 enemies with cannonballs. I actually thought, I didn't know what, a, I know what a cannonball is, but I don't know, for some reason I thought I missed it. It was all the way at the end of the game. And I actually went to this one spot, which is probably on the video, and I found it in a bonus area. And I was able to do it then, and then I realized, oh, I get it plenty of times throughout the rest of the game. Okay, so you'll get that. 50 enemies. And just hit them right in the head. 20, serious. 20 gamer score, unlock 10 Sams in a single playthrough. So I'm going to put up a, a guide for this one to get all Sams where they are. I did not watch the guide, however. I actually was saying, oh, I'll find them. Ah. And yeah, I didn't. So this is what you do if you don't find them. You could replay the game or you can go to the menu after you're done, which is what I did. Start a co-op game. And then once you start a co-op game on the last level, by the way, you have to finish the entire game. Then you start a co-op game starting on the last level of the game. And then once you get it, you'll have 10 Sams ready to use. Like, really? Uh, I don't know. That's some some cool glitch. I hope it's still there when, when you're able to do it. Or you can just watch the guide. But yeah, once you do that, the co-op game on the last level... Um, doesn't Nobody was even in the game with me. It was just me. You can start a co-op game without someone. And just use all 10 Sams. And that's it. Upgrade. That's how I got that final achievement for me. Category 3, side quest achievements. 17 achievements for 255 gamer score. And, I mean, this is really not, not too complicated. I'm just going to give you a little bit of the hints here, where they come. So, they're all side quests. It's a lot of it's killing things. So, number one, the Spirit of Roma. And that is where you beat We Can Be Heroes in Death From B Below. And I'm doing these in order of when I got them, too. The, the, so, Death From Below, that's the level it's in. And you'll be led directly to this one by Father Mikhail. All right? You won't miss that one. Number two, Cultist Simulator. And these are all 15 gamers score, by the way. This is where you beat key to success, and that is in the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse level. And so after you unlock the gate, you have to go straight until you find the locked armory, and then you have to go left and complete the side objective. What, really, as long as you find where these start, which I'm showing you in the video, basically what it looks like to start, you will be fine just following the directions. It'll tell you where to go. So, for the cause is the next one. And that's where you beat Thin Red Line, and that's also in the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse level. So you have to follow the blood trail after finding the radio near the ruin. So I almost for, I almost missed this one, actually. So after you find that radio, make sure you're paying attention. Um, number four, this belongs in a museum. Be I feel like that's Indiana Jones reference. Um, uh, maybe? Beats Amateur Archaeology in Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse again. And that's where Dr. Kaisel will direct you to it. So, yeah, he'll direct you to it. So it's not a big deal. Um, now... Bur that burning sensation, collect four burned samples in Gates of Hell. And all you have to do is, you kind of get this objective automatically. So you just have to follow the waypoints, and then and then you'll be good. Uh, next one is Hard Science Fiction. And that is where you beat Portal Combat uh, on the die is cast. Or you could also get Portal 2, that's the name of it, in Carcassonne. I think it's Italian. So anyway, but either way, you're directed to both of them uh, by, by, by the dude. So, on the main path, so you won't miss it. So, you could do it either either of those places to get the portal stuff. Number seven, signature move, beat locked and handcocked on Morituri Te Salutant. Again, before you enter the mini Colosseum. I actually missed this one because I thought it was right before the, the, um, right before the Colosseum. It's not. It's a little bit before that. So, make sure you're looking at the video and I'm showing you where it is on mine. So, you have been wormed. Beat worms again. Worms are in the Armageddon, what am I saying? On when in Rome. My dog is whining in behind in the background. So that's on the main path, and that's going to be hard to miss. All right. Number nine, where's the girl? Beat, you have to beat Gabriella's Night, and that's on when in Rome as well. So you're going to have to take a left after going up the stairs from the river to find it. And, you, and you know, you'll see here. Um, number ten, Mushroom Surprise. Ooh, beat Fun Guy <laughs> in Breakfast in France. Really? Oh, so when you get the bike... So you're going to get on this motorbike, uh, this motorcycle, I guess. Don't go straight the direction it's going. Turn backwards. You're going to go down the road for quite a bit, for her, for a minute. And then you're going to make a, a right onto this dirt road, and then you'll find the objective there. It's Mushroom Surprise. Number 11 is Southern Gentleman. 
It's in the same level, Breakfast in France, and um, you have to beat the Southern Bell Tower objective in that. Take the main road until you... So, you, so you're going to actually take the main road, the actual main road. And then once you hear Annabelle call for help, you have to kind of look up for a tower. You're going to see a tower on the right side of the road, and then you'll find that. Number 12 is Felbert Le Fou. And that's where you beat Armed, Farmed, and Alarmed on, on the level 1 for the road. So when you finish the mech section, you're going to be in this huge mech. It's pretty awesome. You're going to take the road to the right, past the, were, past the werebulls, instead of going through the small village. Don't go through the village. You have to go to the right. And then you literally have to walk for like, I don't know how long. Some people say 15 minutes. I don't know. To find this um, through the swamps. And then once you, yeah, you, you'll get there. And then it'll be down there. Uh, number 13, Serious Art, Beat the Art of War. And that's on Vive la Résistance. I have a bad French accent. And that's along the main path. So just take the right fork. When you're at the canals, take the right fork. Number 14 is the French achievement. And that's beat. Let's workshop this on Vive la Resistance. I, I can't say it. Um, so you'll find on the main path after the warehouse arena part. Number 15 is classic hero stuff. Beat the princess and the pie on In Carcassonne. You can't miss it. All right, this one, it's, it's, you know, you'll get a cutscene on the main path, and then if you get to the laser gun part, you've missed it. So just make sure you don't miss it. I think it was on the right. Well, it's probably in the video right now. All right, number 16, quality time. Beat, what the hell, fire on Anathema Unto God. That's the name of the level. So play the level till you get hellfire, until you find hellfire on the main path, and then take a right to do the side mission. So you, you, you'll see, this is, sounds a lot harder than it is. But not only do you have what I have on the video that you're looking at, but you'll, you'll see it. Um, number 17, final one, is Brass Lantern. And this one, you're actually inside this, like, tower thing. And you, uh, it's, it's, in, it's called Twisted Little Passages is the, is the name of the quest. And it's on the package level. It's towards the end of the game. And you just have to go up the tower. You're going to go up a whole bunch of, like, ladders, stairs, things. No, ladders. And then to go over to the second tower, you'll see on the left, there's a... Uh, there's a, this, this like computer thing you have to do. Otherwise, that's it. That's Serious Sam 4. It was really fun. Um, it's a lot easier, honestly, with me telling you all these details because I thought I would miss a lot of these things. And uh, I almost did. So hopefully what I told you was helpful. And yeah, and I'll see you next time on the Achievement Planner.